are those voices? in here. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. I, I have to get it. I have to... Uh, uh, uh. Those horrible dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box and her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. Time to gather my things. Ah, the amazing adventures of Nora Everhart. Oh, I'd better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. I received a mysterious package. After spending so oh, I love this song. What was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on? I've st I've st I've st I've st I've st I've still got to pack up a few more things. I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. Oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank good Merveille de Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Seas, I think. A thing or two about Polynesian culture. Now it's open. This strange and sharp relic came in. Harry Everhart. My husband, my partner, and my... I saw this island in one of my unsettled... We're all set, madam. The motorboat Okay, ready. Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. Lower the motorboat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lad. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. 
I'll see you in three days then. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Well, here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, Opal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refuse to even name. Everything is familiar. So familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? This, this can't be a coincidence. idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? There's definitely something strange about this place. Let's see if I, I can know find any just trace of you around here. I love listening to the sea. A tent. So somebody was on That's this island recently. Though. A flute that the Polynesians play with. Me. A miniature va'a. A Polynesian outrigger canoe. A note written in French. I only understand two words. It must be a warning. This machete is completely worn down. The blade is dull. I feel... Quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than you. These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. A carving tool. A carving tool. This box. CW. Those are the initials on the brass key. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. Hmm. So why Something's build missing such here. a big one?
Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. What a lovely flower offering. Well, look what's hidden here. This may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. What a Polynesian version. Is that... Harry? Harry! You were here! You were here and I found you, damn it! Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journal. It's been years since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. I can feel the air is denser here in this mangrove swamp. Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. <laughs> and I thought Colorado was too far from home when we moved there. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But I have to do it with you, old pal. My, this is so beautiful. <laughs> what were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cold lorikeets. Polynesian chieftains make their head ornaments. There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this umu. I'll draw the symbol in my journal.
This looks like cargo from an earlier voyage, long before Harry's expedition. Harry said that he would go to the end of the world to find a cure, and by the looks of it, he wasn't lying. We promised we'd never lie to each other from the moment we started dating, no matter how harsh the truth. What a beautiful mountainous landscape. This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol inside it.
Guess I hit the jackpot. That's my ticket across the river then. 